Okay, everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this. So there's a couple of things we want to do to get ready for deployment. Let's see if I've done them already. Um, I'm going to want a Netlify.toml. There's a couple of things. Um, so I'm going to create a new file called Netlify.toml. And the purpose of this file is to um, make sure. So you notice how like every time we refresh on any route, it breaks the website. We want to fix that, okay? So what we want to do is in this Netlify.toml, you can specify all sorts of settings for Netlify. Specifically, when I think I created this in the wrong folder, so let me create this and put that in front end. Yep, move that into there. We want to create a redirects <coughs> section. So Toml has a very specific syntax. So when you do like these like double square brackets, it's like a section. And let me just go find the Netlify.toml redirects syntax. Netlify.toml redirects. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> I really just need this much. Okay. So this is to and from. Actually, does that, does that have to be tabbed? That does have to be tabbed. So tab, tab. Okay. Because like Toml and YAML both have like very like Python like syntaxes where basically ownership is all expressed through tabs instead of the curly brackets and stuff like that. So from old path, so basically from any path other than root. Okay, so that's what that's gonna mean. It just means anything. Send back to root, okay? Or back to, yeah, that's fine. So if you refresh, it's always gonna send you back to the main page, which will, again, we, ha we created that use effect that's always gonna check to see if you're logged in and do all that stuff, so we're fine. So save, so we want that in there. <clears throat> okay, that's gonna make sure that, that the router doesn't break things. Control C. Now in other, in other contexts, you'd have to create rewrites differently. So like if you were deploying it in some other host provider, you would have to read like how do they handle redirects at that provider and do it. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. And the cool thing is you can even do redirects to other websites. You can do all the cool stuff here. So if you want to create like little URLs that will push people to other pages from your URL here, you can do that. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a neat feature. Now let's see here, front end. Now what I want to do here is create, make a root repo. I forget if this is already a repo. Get status, nope, not yet. So let's do a git init, git add dot, git commit dash m first commit. Okay, so that's all working. Now we need to push this over the GitHub. So let's go find GitHub. GitHub.com. I want to hit new. We're going to call this um, React Rails Notes front end. And then I'm just going to hit create repository. Then I'm going to copy this line right here, just that line. I don't, I don't care about any of this other stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to hit paste here. Um, and then that allows, so then that now has added a remote, so I can always double check by doing git remote dash v. There it is. And then I'm going to do a git push origin master. And actually, now that I think about it, I before we do that, I do need we do need to go back and fix something. So in our app state, we need to go fix our URL. Now it's going to need to be HTTPS once we deploy the Netlify. So save that, and then I'm going to use my pushy command again. That's a custom script I made. Uh, URL origin master. So that just does the git add, the git push. I mean. It does the git add, then the git commit, and the git push for me all in one command. It's a nice time saver. Basically, when I have to change a lot of repos at the same time with a lot of my templates. So there we go. 
we got this. Good. Okay. Then I'm going to head over to Netlify. Log in. Okay, new site from Git. Then click on GitHub. So if you haven't already, connect your GitHub. And then I'm going to go look up my repo here. So I'm just typing React. Because it starts with React Rails. So searching through my repos, finding... Oh, what did I just click on? I don't know what I clicked on. Nope. Oh, no. Making all sorts of mistakes here. Okay. GitHub. React. Give that a second to find. I have a lot of repos, so it's going to take a while. Uh, React. Rails. React. Rails. Here we go, React Rails notes front end. Now, in this case, <clears throat> I need to put in a build command. If you're using my template, create React Basic. One way you can always double check if you're not sure is you do package.json, look at the scripts, and see there it's called build. Okay? Now, that's all configured in Webpack in the sense like that's where I determine what folder it's going to build into. So if you want to know where it's building into, it's right here. Path. Build. So if you want to build to some other folder other than build, you can change it. Okay, the Webpack settings are there for your to do with as you please. But basically, the command is npm run build. So every time you upload this, it's going to build run that command, and then the final version of your website will be inside the build folder, um, which will be then served. So I'm going to hit that deploy, and now it's going to start building the site, and then it should be uh, deployed. Because again we had already deployed the back end. So this whole time we've been building the front end, we've been using the back end API the whole time. Okay, so our Ruby on Rails Heroku API has already been doing its thing. Okay. And we've learned some fun things such as don't do asynchronous actions inside your reducer function. And uh, be very careful about when you're doing implicit returns versus explicit returns, meaning curly brackets after the arrow or not. Because <clears throat> if you have the curly brackets, you need to include the word return. Um, okay, good, that's deployed. Now let's try it out. Cool, now let's try logging in. Test six we made, I think, what was the last one we made? Test six. And there we go. So you logged in. Now let's try to add a note. <coughs> gibberish. Gibberish. Okay, it got made. Let's try deleting a note. It works. It's a little slow, but it works. Cool. Congratulations. You now have a full stack app using Ruby on Rails on the back end and react on the front end at this point you go back and you clean up and you do more styling and you make it look nicer um again we just did some really quick off you know just to make it passable type styling um but yeah you guys get the idea my name is alex merced from alexmercedcoder.com if you guys like this build like the videos um subscribe to the youtube channel make sure you join the slack and Discord communities over there at devnursery.com so that way you can reach out anytime and make requests. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.